That's really helpful. Um, so speaking of following like our, our physicians or our clinicians advice, um, I'd love to talk for a few minutes about um, diet and nutrition. Um, Curtis, I don't know if you have any tips or words of wisdom of how you've been managing your kidney diet during this, this time. Um, for me, I've been basically doing pretty good. I know when this first started, you know, was really starting to hear a lot more news and stuff. I did become a little anxious and have a little stress. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to my uh, sweets for mm -hmm. comfort, but uh, fortunately I was able to uh, keep a hold on that and then t tone that back down. But I actually had a little more issue when I left work and started working from home, mm -hmm. where it was easier to get up and run into the kitchen Mm -hmm. and open the refrigerator or open the pantry and there were snacks there that normally I wasn't uh, eating during the day. Mm -hmm. So uh, fortunately, my wife caught me and uh, she's now providing me with a few more healthier snacks and stuff, even though I may mm -hmm. sneak in and steal a cookie or stuff. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, and keeping up with my water intake, uh, mm -hmm. And I know at work, I have this wonderful jug that I use uh, as a transplant uh, patient. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to drink uh, more water and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was missing that at home. And so what I did was go out to the internet and mm -hmm. order my jug. So like I'm back on my uh, water uh, uh, take. And uh, so, so far, things have been going well. That's great. I, I love that. I love that you got a new um, container to watch that or to measure that intake. I think that's a great, a great tool. Um, Dr. Kramer, do you have any other recommendations for people? I mean, the kidney diet is already so hard to manage in the first place. What, what else would you recommend for people who are dealing with this in the context of this pandemic? Well, I would say, you know, try to have a plan for what you um, are planning on eating for the week. You know, don't just go to the grocery store, you're hungry, and then you start walking around trying to figure out what you should get. Um, mm -hmm. Really have a plan of, of, you know, a few meals that you plan to make um, mm -hmm. throughout the week. And, um, and then, you know, because you want to limit the time that you're spending in a grocery store. So having a plan is good and trying to you know, limit the number of times that you go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So I would really just try to, you know, sit down and think about what are some of the things you're going to be eating, you know, over the next week and purchase those items for those, those meals. Um, if you can buy fresh produce, I think that that's, that's good. But remember that frozen fruits and vegetables, um, they last longer and they have, you know, less sodium than the canned um, versions and, and and then you can store them in your freezer and then utilize them you know over several weeks time yeah. so i would say you know try to think about um getting some frozen vegetables and some frozen fruits and then also think about what are the foods that you should be avoiding so like mm -hmm. how curtis was saying you know it shouldn't be eating like the cookies and stuff like that i know when we went to the grocery store my daughters wanted to get ice cream and like the ice cream section was just gone <laughs> there wasn't much selection. So obviously we're all feeling really stressed out and we're yeah. using bad foods to try to um, mm -hmm. heal some of that stress, but that actually makes you feel worse. Mm -hmm. So um, remembering that eating a healthy diet is actually mm -hmm. going to make you feel better. Um, and I also would suggest that if you're not sure about what foods um, that you should be avoiding, reach out to your provider and ask them to hook you up with a dietitian. Um, medical nutrition therapy is available to most people who have kidney disease, stage three and higher. Um, kidney transplant recipients, if they've received a kidney within the past two years, also um, should be meeting with a dietitian. And most insurance companies will provide that with no copay. Medicare provides that with no copay. So by all means, reach out to dietitians. You know, that's you would know, Caitlin, you know, that's yeah. what they do for a living. That's what they're trained for. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they're able to give you the best information about diet much better than even your primary provider or your nephrologist. Yeah. So yeah. Th thanks for the shout out. We love, we love getting that recommendation as dietitians. Um, yeah, that's great. I, um, I think go see a dietitian if you can. And I imagine a lot of them are, um, able to do like phone consultations and telemedicine during this time too. Right. So 
Um, if you're worried about leaving your house, I don't think you need to. 